Hi, I'm Gulu. In this video, we'll cover sequence search, which involves looking for hits in reference databases to our query sequences. We have about 10 contigs from an environmental sample that were analyzed six months ago and found to have no hits. And the question is, is there anything new now? Here are the 10 query sequences for which we would like to find new matches. In GenomeQuest, the way to do that is to go to the sequence search page which is accessible from the top right as a hyperlink. Once you reach the sequence search page, there are three simple steps. The first is to specify your query. In our case, it's nucleotide sequences. You can actually choose to run the search against an entire database, whether it is one of the databases you uploaded or a virtual database that you have saved, you can choose an entire database. In this case, of course, we only have 10 sequences and the easiest thing to do is just paste them in. The second step is to choose subject databases. In this case, we'll choose GenBank, which includes all the main divisions and non-main divisions of GenBank, which you can open and take a look. We'll also choose RefSeq, which is a reference sequence database well curated at NCBI. The third step is to choose a strategy. We'll choose BLAST in our case, but you could also choose GenePast, which is a global percentage identity search, fragment search, which is kind of like a local version of GenePast. More importantly, mega search is the algorithm that is best suited if you have very large numbers of query sequences. For example, in the first step, if we had chosen an entire database, it is very likely that we would have to choose mega search here because it is more efficient. So in this case, we'll run a blast search and click the bar search button. All your sequence search results are available from the My Genome Quest page under the sequence search link. When you click on the name of your result, the results get opened in Genome Quest. The results page shows that all 10 of my queries have hits and there are a total of 844 results. I'm not sure I'm convinced though because some of these matches at 26% and 50% and 19% even don't sound too convincing. Now GenomeQuest shines in being able to help you make sense of these results. The first way in which GenomeQuest helps you is by allowing you to mine these results by applying some filters. For example, I might want to see only strong alignments. And let me define a strong alignment as something that has at least 80% identity in the alignment and the length of the alignment being at least 100 nucleotides. I can simply apply those conditions and what I see is that there are only 31 results that satisfy these criteria and only four of my 10 queries actually match them. That's not bad though. Out of the 10 queries that I could not annotate six months ago, four of them seem to have good matches. I can look at each of these matches by clicking on one of these and it opens up the full alignment that you can see between the query and the subject sequence. You can also read the annotation of the subject and you can look up the subject sequence as well. But let me take a step back from the deep dive. You can actually do one more thing to get an overall view of the results and that is to group your results. In this case, for this environmental sample, I'd really like to know how many organisms are represented. So when I group my results by organism, I see that six organisms are represented in these 31 results. And I can see what those six organisms are, as well as how many results I have for each of those organisms. So Genome Quest allows you to mine your results by being able to filter those results or group them in a variety of ways. In conclusion, you need three things for running a successful sequence search. The first of these is content or databases. You saw that in GenomeQuest, we have an exhaustive list of reference databases, and we also have databases that you can upload, your proprietary databases. The second thing you need is search, and you saw the variety of search algorithms that are available in GenomeQuest, including mega search, which allows you to run extremely high throughput sequence search uh, against uh, very large databases. And finally, analysis. Results come back usually in hundreds or in thousands, and you need to be able to mine them. 
Genome Quest provides powerful filtering, grouping, and sorting facilities to give you a complete idea of what your results are saying. You can get further information about sequence search through our help pages at wiki.genomequest.com.